Oil spills at sea are a problem we often face today around the world. This has caused marine life, fewer mammals, birds and animals to be affected by hypothermia due to chemicals containing oil that threaten their lives because of less dissolved oxygen, DO, in seawater. Initially, the objective of our product is to clean up maximum oil spills that often occur on a large scale. Secondly, to reduce sugarcane waste to avoid it being wasted. Lastly, this is a safer and more environmentally friendly method of oil separation than using chemical liquids. The types of oil spills behave differently in the environment and have varying effects on animals and birds. Fuel oil, a type of light oil that includes gasoline and diesel fuel, is a component of oil spills. On the other hand, very heavy oil such as bunker oil used to fuel chips appears black and may remain sticky for a while until it weathers sufficiently. But even then, if not removed, it can remain in the environment for months or even years. Because of this, marine life is significantly affected by oil spills in the ocean. Oil reduces the bird's ability to hold water and the insulation provided by field mammals such as sea otters. Leaving these animals exposed to the weather conditions can make their feathers difficult to clean and further restrict their movement. We collected bags of sugarcane waste to test whether it could absorb oil in the sea. After that, we washed the sugarcane residue so that there is no dirt. Next, shred sugarcane softcore until fine because of the small particle size of bagels, the more effective against oil absorption. Then, separate the hard sugarcane hulls from the soft core to facilitate the experimental test. Soak the soft sugarcane residue in water for a few minutes. After soaking for a few minutes, squeeze the sugarcane residue until normal water can be absorbed by the sugarcane. Dry all the hard cane skins and soft core in the sun so that the fuse dries as much as possible to facilitate the absorption process. This is to avoid unpleasant odors if the sugarcane is still moist. Next, we prepare ears oil to conduct a study on the effectiveness of the oil that can be absorbed by sugarcane. We put oil and water into different beakers to make this absorption experiment. Then, we mix the oil and water in the same beaker and after that we put the package into the oil that has been mixed with the water for the absorption process. After one minute, we removed the baggage from the beaker to make observations. The last observation was made and the results of the observation were recorded. We conducted a test on sugarcane and coconut oil to test the effectiveness oil absorption by combining coconut and sugarcane husks. But the results show that the absorption rate of sugarcane alone is better than when it's combined. After all, we chose to use only sugarcane in our product. The Malaysian community loves cheap and easily available items such as coconut oil and sugarcane baggies. In addition, the method of manufacturing this product is easy for anyone to follow. This can also reduce the rate of disposal of sugarcane and coconut waste which is lead to environmental pollution. To sum up, we decided to use sugarcane drags 100% without a combination to avoid a lack of absorption rate. In addition, sugarcane absorbs the oil way faster than others. Besides, we need a big quantity of sugarcane drags to absorb oil on a large scale since it absorbs water and oil simultaneously. That's all from us from Science Langor Secondary School. Thank you for your cooperation. See you soon!